Hello everybody and welcome back to Bedrock Survival with Fix. Today it's a texture pack update video because man I have been busy and I got some new stuff and I can't wait to show it to you. So we're going to go through the new stuff and the old stuff because there's so 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 much but let's start with the new exciting stuff. So I have thanks to Bedrock Tweaks which I, I believe is uh, headed up by like Zoomavoid and his team but they have put out some stuff that has showed me how to do some stuff. Shown me. That showed me how to do some stuff with double slab textures and I am psyched look at this oh baby oh baby that's right so we have warped slab double warp slab it turns vertical that's that was a Jersey boys idea um and I just I just loved it so much it's great for for uh floors and it's great for walls and all that kind of stuff yeah it's super cool so I basically I just turned it right on its side using all the vanilla textures you know in this texture pack I'm trying my darndest to keep it pretty much vanilla uh, but you can see the crimson as well now a lot of these are just temporary placeholders like this is the exact same texture but eventually what we'll do is we'll make this kind of special texture um, same with like brick same with netherrack all that kind of stuff but everything works now and I'm really happy about it and and then you know we'll move along later this is uh, there is a little bit of a just bedrock the way lighting works like this is uh, this texture works it's just it looks different shades but it's it's not really it's just slabs look kind of a different color than full blocks for some reason um this one i went ahead and used this just so you can have this block because i thought it was kind of cool have a block like on its side and everything so uh i did that again all this is is able to be changed uh this one will not change colors like the full block will because it's a static color i think in case you wanted the static color i went with that here we have the little blocks for the andesite. Uh, I may end up lightening my andesite just a little bit. It seems like it's just a hair dark uh, for my taste because I've been playing only with shaders on, as you know, and um, now seeing it without shaders, yeah, it's a little bit dark, but but uh, it's okay. I went with just the double the double bricks that are very common in here. Hey, this this one, I took the, the polished diorite and I just made a two by two, and I think it kind of works. It gives you a little bit something interesting. I mean, you still have the regular diary block. This is only for the the double slab. I think it's kind of cool. Especially, I think it especially looks kind of cool, like tiled, kind of like um, I don't know, like bathroom floor tiles or something like that. But yeah, it's all right. Uh, this, you know, that's not great. We're gonna work on that a little bit later. But um, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Grant, I think I actually granted again. I think it works really nice. Like, I can think that's a kind of cool floor tile to have. And then in addition, it blends really well with this. So you could have sort of a, a combination of of a. Uh, you know, like that, and, and they kind of work well together. So that's cool. <laughs> uh, these ones over here, uh, the uh, red sandstone, I don't really have a plan, except for I want to be able to get this side texture up on the top. So that's one of the plans. Probably we're going to leave it as is for right now, for a little while anyway. Uh, this one, I went with something different. Since this block is actually in the game as a full block now, I, I tried to go for, like, take the side texture and put it up on the top. I think it's kind of cool like I could see doing like um like maybe sidewalks or something like that out of it, it just gives you some options because we don't have very many of those sort of long not square blocks that aren't staggered like bricks so that's kind of cool uh nothing special about all these this one for the old stone brick I did the old usual thing that you do same thing over here with the the mossy and oh yeah so this one are our dirt slabs I made if you put two of them together you get a path block that's all around the path block I think that's kind of cool. So that way, if you put something on top of it, it remains a path block. And I think that that might be a texture you might want to use or not or whatever. Uh, but I have another thing. Well, let's let's finish this. Let's finish this first. Okay. So here you already saw these the double slabs. Oh, so it's going to be so great for building. It's going to be so great. Dark oak, acacia, jungle, uh, birch, spruce, and oak all working just perfectly great. Um, now, there's one more thing, though. If you notice... I finally did it. I finally did it. Again, thanks to that pack and thanks to sort of reading the JSON files and learning how to write code a little bit. Um, I learned how to do texture variation in Bedrock and I'm so excited. Look at that. These are all coarse dirt. Now, these textures are subject to change. I might I may change them at some point, but I have... Um, yeah, I, I have uh, some, some pebbles, some rocks, and stuff like that in there. There's also texture variation here. It's very slight. It's very slight. But again, this came straight from that Bedrock uh, Tweaks thing. For now, there's some texture pack holders that I'm going to be doing for right now. And then eventually, I'll probably going in and changing some things. But here's the one I probably like the most. So much that I laid out in a big area. Look at that. I lightened some bricks. I darkened some bricks. And I used a couple of Jermsey's crack designs to... Um, 
uh, to put just on, on sort of the, the side, just to give it a little bit of weathered look and look when you're walking. Look at this. Oh man, it's so nice. It's so nice. I love it. Same with cobblestone. Again, these are the cobblestone textures from the bedrock, uh, what's it called? Bedrock tweaks. Um, and uh, I, I'm going to change those out later on. Also, additionally, I darkened the dark oak leaves uh, a lot because so, it's the, basically the same as oak, but I wanted there to be a variation there. And I tried my best, tried my darndest to get brown leaves. It, it's very, very complicated to do, but um, it's kind of brown here. It's quite brown in the savannah. Uh, and it's kind of the super olive, olive green, almost brown sort of look in other biomes. But Savannah, nice and brown. So if you want to use it, you can. Uh, this is a temporary placeholder here, this iron tractor. I want it to be not, I don't want holes. So we're going to, I'm going to work something else out eventually there. And uh, you can see I did change the oak trapdoor to match the spruce trapdoor and be a little bit more usable in building, right? Now, we're going to get into some other things in just a second. These are, if you want to know how to do these, I'm going to show you a code at the very end of the video. So if you want to know how to get these dirt slabs in your world, you can't craft them unless you use an add-on. So because you can't craft them, you're going to have to use a either command block or give yourself the item or use an add-on to, to make the crafting recipe. But uh, yeah, these are the old petrified oak slabs. Um, and I will show you at the end the code that it takes to get these in your world if you want to. Up here, I have something that I'm really proud of. These are both cyan glass. This is cyan. So if you do cyan regular glass, is that. If you do cyan panes, it's that. I love the ability to do that. I think that's really, 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 really cool. And um, it just opens up, you know, possibilities. I think what I may end up doing is changing cyan to sort of like a different kind of flag design. But but yeah, that's that's really nice and usable in your world, I think. Okay, over here I did change all the wools. Um, these are John Smith color selections for the wools. I just like them a lot better. I, just, I like them a lot better than the vanilla really streaky wool designs that I'm generally not a big fan of. I did the same thing with the terracotta. They're basically color corrected because I hate the, I hate the vanilla terracotta colors. I just feel like they're sort of weirdly shaded towards sort of like a... It's like if you mix this color and the dye, which I think is maybe the intent, but I, I've never liked how blue terracotta is actually purple in vanilla it's weird. Uh, these are all unchanged i didn't do anything here but down here the glazed terracotta i did some stuff for my sci-fi base and i really like it so i have this this is your white glazed uh glazed terracotta right here and uh yeah it works pretty well i think um these are directional that's one of the things so the way i did this there's like a line there because i did i did where you do here and you here that's not going to be as good for you you're going to want to place them all in the same way but it's a nice texture to have there i kind of figure i'm never going to use the glazed terracottas in my world so i'll go ahead and use these for sort of the sci-fi base situation this one can be really nice for like if you want to go like a bottom wall or if you go on the other side you can go kind of like um oops i guess you have to do this Something like this, and then you can see there's like, you know, it just gives you a nice, really industrial sort of look. These are awesome for floors. I use these a lot on my moon base. Same with these as well, floor ceiling. I fixed this texture. It wasn't it wasn't tiling right, so I fixed it. So now the yellow stained, uh, what is it called? Yellow glazed terracotta uh, tiles pretty well. There's It looks like, it looks to me that there's maybe a little bit bigger of a gap there. I, I, I may readdress this at one point in the future. But look at this grass, I forgot. I added in 16 variations of grass. They're all they're all very, very, very slight. But you can see if you look across, there's a much better, much better grass look, I think, than that very uniformed uh, grass that was in vanilla before. So super nice. Super, super nice. Okay, let's head over and take a look at the rest of the glass here. Um, oh, what else did I do too? Uh, you know, I thought I changed sandstone, but I guess I didn't. I may have to, I'm going re, to recheck that out. I think I had changed sandstone to take that off because this is regular sandstone. Yeah, I meant to take that. I, I will change that. Um, this is, uh, I made a stained glass uh, styled after Germ and his great pink stained glass. A lot of these aren't touched. This one is light blue. It's very sci-fi. I really like it a lot. Uh, the green, again, I used, this is, these are the same. This is green. This is this is green stained glass pane, but um, the, depending on whether you use the panes or the full block, block you get a different design. I just thought it was kind of fun. Uh, because this one, I may end up changing to be a little bit more futuristic. So I wanted you yeah, have both options of green. Yellow, I like a lot. 
Red is cool. This is brown. Brown, I use this a lot. These brown completely invisible glass because you can put stuff on top of it. Like, um, for example, if you want this wagon wheel texture, well, if you build it just like that, that's not going to work for the glass pane. So what you do is you grab the brown stained glass on the other side and it connects and you have a beautiful wagon wheel. Super cool. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's really just, it's just brown stained glass panes, right? Uh, this is black. This is gray. Light gray I like a lot. White I love. I use that one all the time. And your regular glass. These over here are jack-o'-lanterns. Jack-o'-lanterns are useless in my opinion in as a builder. So uh, these are very useful. You can use these for a lot of different things. Jerm made this texture for us over on the realm of Bastin, and he was gracious enough to let me include it in the, uh, the bedrock pack and yes it's it's really really nice i really really love it so a couple other things that we should just touch on before i get to how to make the coarse dirt uh slabs thing here you can see the variations oh man they're so nice there aren't variations here yet but i think they're very well maybe in some time uh, I don't think I changed anything else here. Um, I did tinker around with torches, but I, I didn't really like it, so I changed it back. And uh, and that yeah, and that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of stuff. Listen, figure out how to do the uh, how to do texture variation in Bedrock. That was no easy task. It took a while, but we did it. We did it, folks. I'm really really happy about it. Okay, let me hop over to where I'm going to show you the code to get the dirt slabs in your own personal world. All right, then, if you are here just for the texture pack, then cool, but this is the survival world where it is used on. I'm in the backup right now, uh, so I can jump into creative and show you how the command block situ situation works here. But I thought I would show you really quickly the world and the castle and all that stuff that's coming along. So here's what you need to do. You need to be in creative or have access to creative and give yourself a command block. And then after you get that command block, then you type in this code give at p stone underscore slab well however many you want i just do a stack of 64 and then space and you have to put the number two the number two is what gives you that slab so look if you want to you could do a redstone system where you throw in dirt and you get back uh, you get back um uh stone slabs or, or dirt slabs or whatever you know but like yeah it's just there now if you break this you break it with a pickaxe and you're going to get back an oak plank or an oak slab like a regular oak slab so you can't break and replace so i mean i figured it's dirt dirt's essentially free so i just give them to myself no big deal but you know if you want to if you want to earn that dirt you, you go right ahead but that is going to basically wrap up this edition of the texture pack if you want to grab it you can grab it here in this video or if you're watching this in the far far future and the link doesn't work anymore then uh, check either a new video or my discord for the newest version of the pack okay because whenever i put a new version this old version will go away but it'll be a while before i put a new one so all right anyway i'm gonna get back to work on my actual world and i will see you all next time for bedrock survival with thick thanks for spending part of your day with me i'll see you next time bye everybody